Creating a space for the legacy of King Records in Cincinnati. Plans are actually beginning to take shape to come up with some designs and financing for the Evanston landmark. In our continuing series, Move Up Cincinnati, focusing on how regional development impacts you. Nine on your side's Lisa Smith reports that supporters are really hoping a celebrity benefit concert could be used to bring the former music studio back to life. Songs like Fever, you give me fever, and Twist fever. are part of the legacy of King Records, and this group is trying to ensure the Evanston-based record label gets the recognition it deserves. It's becoming a vision for everybody that they understand this is for everybody. Cincinnati City Council approved Mayor John Cranley's plan to set up a 14-member committee to preserve the King Records legacy and building where the music was made. Most people didn't know that we had this right here, you know, pre the precursor to Motown and Stax and all these different places. Kent Butts is familiar with King Records. His father, Otis Williams, was one of the label's hit makers. He and his father are on the committee, along with other King legends like drummer Philip Paul and Bootsy Collins with his wife, Patty Collins. We have a gem, we have a jewel, we have a diamond in our city. So we need to activate it, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We need it big, I, in regards to what anybody says, because I was here, I was here 70 years ago. Much of the focus is on revitalizing the old building on Brewster Street, which the city saved from demolition. So we have some uh, recording booths and some classrooms and a lounge area. As a fall studio project, you see architecture and interior design students develop plans and ideas. We have it proposed as kind of like an exhibition where people can come see the records being made. It took more than 30 students to come up with eight concepts of what the new King Record Studios would look like, and each one has a different flair. Bringing it to life for kind of a new generation as well as for other people who were part of that generation to kind of return back to. Meanwhile, getting something like this off the ground will take millions of dollars. The committee will organize a benefit concert and they're already talking to major performers. But that concert will definitely be here in Cincinnati yeah. and it will be a big concert. It's not just going to be just any type of concert. It'll be something big, probably something that Cincinnati hasn't seen. Lisa Smith, nine on your side.